Children and Ye taking a moment to enjoy life and each other, despite facing starvation and the daily threat of violence. Many cling to each other for reassurance. Others have been forced to seek sanctuary at the school after their parents were killed. I don't have parents. I don't have parents. My parents are all dead. I don't, want, I don't have someone to support me in my education. I am the one who supports myself in education. But now I don't have anything to, get to support myself in education because I don't have money to support. The situation in Ye is dire. 70% of the population fled last year after fierce fighting erupted between government and opposition forces, leaving Ye largely a ghost town. Food is scarce. People can't tend to their crops outside the town because of ongoing insecurity, including murder, abduction, rape and looting. Despite this, the local Catholic school has stayed open and 14 teachers have remained to volunteer their time helping the children learn and giving them a sense of security. We cannot surrender. That was the one of our motto of the school. Even if problems are like that, education must continue and uh, so that uh, generations to come should not face the challenge that we are in. Students say that education is all they have left. For them it is a chance for a way out and a way forward to a brighter future. We need to beg our leaders, let them, be, let them bring peace to South Sudan so that South Sudanese children should enjoy their life like the one of Ago. And the United Nations mission in South Sudan is considering establishing a new peacekeeping base in Ye. Before that happens, it wants local authorities to guarantee access for peacekeepers to outlying areas and evidence of a genuinely inclusive peace process. This is grassroots peace process. We want them to take the lead. It's much better that local people take the lead and we come in and support and whatever we can do rather than the UN come in as the, as the great saviours, which I don't think... Uh, we do, we do as well as the local peoples. Local people say that peace can never endure unless warring parties first commit to ending the violence. Let us stop this war. Uh, we must stop the war because if this war keep on going, I think we are going to have a number of venerable children and this country even, we are not going to prosper. Political, religious and community groups are committed to working together to end the violence, motivated by a common desire to restore hope for the next generation, the future leaders of Yay.